not all clients are the same. Someone who buys once and the $10 product is not as valuable as a customer that returns to your store and buys thousands of dollars of merchandise. That's obvious. I mean, it's not, uh, it's not a secret, not, nothing new. What I'm trying to uh, show you here is that Pixie site, professional, has some features that help you identify those valuable clients um, and retarget them with ads, show them a special campaign, maybe a promotion, and even uh, try to find similar cli potential clients uh, to these most valuable uh, uh, customers that you have, basically using lookalikes and uh, audiences. Let me show you what I mean. This is Pixie Professional, and this is the WooCommerce page with the plugin. And right here, right here, we have advanced marketing events. They are turned off by default, so you should be you should turn them on first in order to have them working. And there are several events like frequent shopper, and you can set up the condition. In this case, in my testing website for transactions, you might want to have a fre frequent shopper event. I don't know, three transactions, ten transactions, up to you. So let's turn this on. We have VIP client. We have a number of transactions and an average order value. So there is a combination of conditions. So let's turn the VIP client on. Big well. And uh, basically a, a lifetime value of at least a particular amount. In my case, $500. So clients that during the lifetime uh, purchase at least five, $500 of products from you. And to actually, these are new. We had those in the past and these two are new. First time buyer, we fire this event when the client uh, buys something for the first time and returning customer. Obviously, if it's a returning customer, we fire this event. Now we have them on and save settings. Once you turn them on, you will start to fire this event for clients that meet those conditions. And how can you use them? I'm not going to show this event on the website, but I'm, I'm, I'm just going to give you a few examples how to use them for uh, Meta, or Facebook, create a new audience, custom audience, uh, website, next. And then all website visitors, no, we want event. Simply select the event you want to create the audience for. Let's say you want uh, uh, an audience for returning customers. Do I have an event here? Uh, you need to have the event fired first and, until Meta uh, gets the data and show the event here. So maybe I don't have it, but it will appear once I fire this event. This is a demo website. I don't have real customers. So let's say Freewind Shopper or Big Well. Okay. So now retention 30 days. You can increase this to 180. Uh, and name your audience and click create. Once you do so, Meta will start to create this custom audience for people that fire that particular event. So in my case, with a lifetime value of at least $500. What I can do now, I can create a special ad for just this type of customers, or I can create a lookalike based on this audience and try to run ads for this particular lookalike. In this case, Meta will try to find me new potential customers that are similar to the ones that fire the event. So to my very uh, important clients, like people that bought for at least $500 from my website, it can be $5,000, any amount that you want. And you can do this for all the um, all the advanced marketing events. Now on Google Analytics, basically you can do a similar thing. This is uh, events 
this is the events page where you can see the events returning customers you can uh, create a conversion for such an event if you want I'm not sure if it makes much sense but the idea is that you can create an audience like this create audience custom audience events and now I don't know returning customer so okay continue save create this audience and then you can um, visualize reports for just this particular audience so you can understand uh, where are uh, these uh, returning customers coming from age all sorts of uh, data that, that google analytics can show you you can visualize it just for this type of uh, uh, customer that's fired that event so this is one way to use the event with uh, google this advanced marketing events with google analytics uh, pinterest same thing you can create an audience type until you see the event uh, for this particular tag i don't have the events fired yet that's why i don't see them but this is the process that you want to follow um, so set site visitors as your audience source select the tag i think this tag might have some events yes but not all i didn't fire the events for pinterest so that's why i don't have them here but once you fire them you will be able to select the event create and you can retarget those uh, important customers with ads same thing on um, tiktok create custom audience the process is very similar you'll be able to select the event like frequent shopper change the amount of days let's say 180 days and of course name your audience confirm and you will have a, an audience on tiktok so that's the idea you can retarget these audiences with um, particular ads maybe you want to upsell something maybe you want to offer them some discount or i don't know and on meta you can uh, use lookalikes and try to find people that are similar to your best customers and we offer you all these events that you can customize so things are quite easy you can have a frequent shopper vip client big well first time buyer and return customer that's it i'm christian stoichesco from pixel your site i hope you like this video uh subscribe to our channel and uh share it share this video it will really really help